Hello guys, my name's Biffa. Thank you for joining me at a first quick and brief look at the Cities Skylines map editor that's built into the game. I've been having some great fun with this. It's good to play around with. We're going to look at some of the tools that are available to you and maybe I'll follow this up with a more in-depth map making tutorial but first of all I know so many of you are excited to be able to see this we'll jump into the tools menu be sure to check out my other video where we take a brief look at the asset editor but let's start off a brand new map in our map editor again you can choose between sunny north which is sort of like a European look or tropical why don't we try a north European sort of look for our map this time. If there's anything extra that you'd like to see or any questions that you have, please sure to leave them in the comments below. I reply to all of my comments, um, particularly if you're new to the channel, it'd be great to hear from you. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like. There'll be plenty more to see. I've got the video on the asset editor, which will be out either before or after this one very quickly. And also, of course, I'll be starting an LP. Just before we start, I wanted to mention this is a week before the game is finally polished and released to the public. So you will perhaps see the odd error in game, but of course they will all be fixed before the game is released. So these are the custom assets that I've been messing around with. You don't need to worry about those. So what do we see on the screen here? First of all, we see our little pop-up menu at the top here, my lovely little blue bird that everybody loves. And it shows the requirements for this map that we're going to make. We have a little checklist here and these are automatically ticked as we work through these. Some of them are very obvious, must have a water stream, at least one highway incoming and outgoing. And then we have a few recommended things as well. So what do we have? Let's zoom out here. We can pick from any of these as our starting tile. If we go to our map settings and we have our start tile, we can pick any of these to start off when we're making our map. We'll leave it on the center one from now. We also have the option here of this snapshot tool, when you've made your map, you can take a picture of it. You get a little camera, there we go, removes the lines, and that will be saved as the picture at the front of your map. Let's go back into the tools that we have. So we're going to pick this one here to start. The first menu that we have, we've clicked on here, gives us the option of the shift tool. We can raise and lower the land underneath the brush. So the left click will raise it up. Let's have a look. I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll pick a larger brush. There we go. So left click raises it up, right click lowers it down. So it's very, very easy to use. We also have the next one here, the level tool. If you decided you wanted to flatten out a whole area, you right click on the area you want to flatten, and then left click. This is the one that I wanted. So let's right click there. There we go. It sets the terrain height, and then just left click, and that will remove that. Of course, you can change the brush size. Let's go back, we make a little area like that. We think we want to just flatten out this bit here. So we'll go to the, what's it called, the level tool, right click, and then left click. We can just sort of paint a bit away. Perhaps you want to set it to this level. Let's right click there. There we go, and it sort of just flattens off the top of the mountain, still keeps the mountain shape. So lots of possibilities with that tool. The next one we have the soften tool. So as we're looking perhaps at the edge of our mountains, we're thinking, let's just raise this one up a bit here. There we go, let's just do a bit there, another little bit here, there we go, we're thinking that just needs a little bit of work on there, so let's change the brush size, and we can just sort of smooth that off a bit, there we go, make it look a bit more natural, let's just do that there, rather than the straight up and down that we've got, already starting to look a bit more natural like a mountain, I like that one. This one here is the slope tool, this is quite interesting, we can right click to set the final position of the slope on the terrain, and left click and drag towards the final position to create a slope. When you've selected the slope tool, you right click for what you would like the height to be. There we go, it's changed the terrain height there. Again, you can change the brush size, the sort of brush that you have. And if you left click and hold, it will create a slope that will lead up to the size that you've picked. If I right click right at the top there, there we go. Left click and keep going. That will keep building and building up until we get we we'll sort of run out of space there until we get to the size of the map height that we want uh, on our slope. That's another cool little tool. Let's just clean this up. We'll remove that. Let's use our brush size. There we go. All gone. So what other options do we have here? We can import height maps and we can also export height maps. We can play with our water. We can place water sources and change the sea level. We can place ores into the game, we can place oil, and we can place fertile land. 
We have options to individually, let's change that down here, brush size, there we go. Individually place trees, oh, let's zoom back in again. Individually place trees, or we can change our brush size to put lots of trees all over the map. We can, of course, add roads, intersections, flight lanes, and what are these here called? Boat lanes? Ship paths, that's the word I'm looking for. And then we have the map settings that we looked at before. So let's take a quick look at making a new map here and seeing how the water tool works as well. And that's something I've been having great fun with. These effects down here, by the way, particularly if you're planting trees and things like that, sort of give a dappled effect rather than, let's just pick one of these random ones. There we go. So you can sort of chuck random trees around. There we go. Makes them look a bit more random rather than sort of using the great big tool brush. Again, worth noting at the top here, there's a certain amount of trees that you can and can't use. So the map is, is limited in what you can add to it. But to be honest, when you see some of the maps that are available, you don't feel like you're limited. It's very, very good. So let's take a look here. Let's change the brush size. Let's just make that a little bit smaller. Maybe add that a little bit. And let's sort of place a weirdly shaped mountain in here. And what I want to do is have a little gap in the middle. And then we're going to dig this out here. Again, I am not a map creator. <laughs> but we will see how this goes. And I want to add a water source in here to have sort of cascading down the mountain. And you notice there, if we left click and hold, we can change the level of the water. So obviously up there it will completely run, out of, let's do that, let's put it up there and unpause the game. Speed the game up, and the water's going to start flowing down the mountain. You can also use this tool here for changing the sea level. There we go. Let's drop that down a bit. So our water source is a little bit too high and it's overflowing, so what we're going to do is drop that down. So it's in the middle there. And also, this probably isn't the best <laughs> the best build ever to try and keep the water in. Ah, oh, we can see it dissipating away. That's good. And hopefully that water's going to all stay in here. We shall see. Well, if it doesn't, what we can do, let's just pick a smaller brush. We will just slightly build this up here. There we go. Give the water a chance to settle down. That looks like it's going to work. Very good. And that will run through to the end. I like that. I like the way you can you can pause it and start it, and you can see how the water works in real time as well. This is normal speed. So we're back to that again. Excellent. And then we can start maybe, is this the smoothing, the soften tool? Let's just pick it slightly smaller. So we can sort of start softening the edges of our mountain, make it look a little bit more realistic. There we go, around the sides here. Very nice, very nice. And then perhaps we shall add some trees in. Let's have a look. What should we take? So let's add some trees at the base of our mountain here. There we go. And let those be drawn in. Maybe a little bit out here. Let's add a little bit of dappled, dappled trees over there with some gaps in the middle. We can also add some roads that are going to go in and out of our area. So we're going to start with... So that's going to go that way. That one's going to come this way. There we go. So that's an incoming and outgoing road. They don't actually get added to the list yet at the moment, but that's okay. That will be changed. So that's looking interesting, is the word I'm going to use. As I said, I'm not a map maker. Let's add some ore to the game. So we want to make it so when we start unlocking maybe this tile next. This is the starting tile, very difficult. When we unlock this one, we get access to some ore. And also overlapping these couple here, we have some oil. And then this one next to here, we have some fertile land. So we can choose which tile we want to unlock and which option we get. You can use these options up here to take a look at what you've added to the map. There we go. We have the wind, outside connections, not actually showing up yet. And there we go. That's our height map as well. Let's take a look at importing a height map. So we've got a brand new blank map here. We can import a height map. Let's just randomly select one of these. These are ones that are available in the game right now, so you can have a play with them. And there we go. So we've got all the height added in. We've got some nice gaps down here, so we could easily add some water sources in to get these running. It's worth noticing you can build outside of the tile spaces that you have available to you. So that's going to give you some views when you're here playing your game, building the roads. You'll be able to see 
mountains and things in the distance. Let's just add some water sources in here and let these run around. So let's add one in there. We'll get the game running as well at fast speed. We can see that starting to build up around the map. Let's add another one in here. Where else have we got? Um, let's add one over here. I'm adding it in the big spaces and it's giving it a chance to move around. And let's add one in here as well. So hopefully that will start flowing forward. There we go, it's building up. Let's just lift that up a tiny bit and we can see actually where it's going to fill up. Not too high. There we go. So this will be a trickle over here once the water gets there. It's working its way. Let's lift this one up a tiny bit. Hopefully we're not going to flood anywhere. We can do it this way as well. This is good because it gives you a graphical look. There we go. I think that. Let's just add a water source in there too. There we go. So we can fill up our map. Let's help that along, add a couple more water sources and really get it looking alive. And of course you can still use all the other tools. You can tweak and edit and you've got to still fulfill these requirements to have your map finished. And then once you've done that, you can export that. So that's version 2. We'll call that version 2 test. We can change the precision and we can change the format and we can export that and that will save it. There we go for other people to have a look at as well. There's also other maps that you can load, so not just height maps, but actually finished maps. Here we go, we have some of these ones here, Delta Bay, the maps that you'll be able to play in-game, and there's a couple that have been added. That looks like a very interesting one. Let's load that one. A couple that have been added to the workshop that you can play around with. And don't forget, people will be making their own maps, so you'll be able to see those. Let's have a look. Look at that. Oh, I see. The roads are going all the way to the edge of the map over here. Look, there we go have our in and our out. That's what we need to do. This looks like a really interesting map. Wow. Look at the mountains. That, this one will be very, very difficult to play. Let's load another one and have a look. Load map, South European, Tropical, Tamaril. I think these are pretty much the ones that you will see in game. Yeah, they look very familiar. Here we go. Yeah, this is the one that you see on the loading screen. These are worth noting as well. If we come over to environment, you can add things such as wildlife spawn points and sand, which is what I think. Yeah, there we go. They're wildlife spawn points. But this is a very nice looking map. Lots of roads going around and junctions. Very good. So you can load these up. You can start playing and tinkering with them, adjusting them as you see fit. And this is a tiny little map that I was working on the other day, just messing around with water inside mountains and that sort of thing, throwing some intersections down. And if you want your inside and outside connection, your incoming and outgoing road connections to work, I thought originally you just run them to the edge of the tiles, but you need to run them right to the edge of the map. Let's see which way these roads are going. This one is going out on the top, so let's connect there. Let's run this all the way to the edge, and then next to it... We'll have that one coming in. There we go. That counts as connections in and out. And we've used two out of four. So two there and two over there by incoming and outgoing connections. So I hope you've enjoyed this very quick look at the map editor. Any questions, put them below and I will try to cover it cover those in a follow-up video. I'm sure I'll start working on creating my own map because it's such good fun and really looking forward to it. Don't forget to leave a like if you found this video informative and also be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, there's also the asset editor video that's out and LP that will be starting and today I'll be live streaming as much as I can now that the embargo is lifted on City Skyline because I'm as excited as you as to play and show off this game. So there we go guys, thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, bye bye.